Welcome to episode 5 of our screencast series on building a social networking site using the Cold Fusion on Wheels framework. In this episode, we'll cover more options for object validation to ensure the integrity of data entered into your application. In our person model, we can go ahead and add a few more validations to tighten some things up and make sure that uh, our application validates the data as thoroughly as it needs to. So first thing that you may have been thinking was uh, maybe we should check that email is in the correct format that the user enters in an actual email address. So what we can use is a model function called validates format of. One of the options for using this, first we'll say property equals email. One of the options is passing a parameter called type. And what this takes, um, if we take a look at the CFML is valid function, it takes uh, a number of the simple values that are in this list that the cold fusion is valid function takes. Um, so one of those is email, so and that's supported by wheels. So we can say type equals email and that will automatically check. So if we reload our application, so if I try entering in something ridiculous like Chris at 123, click register now, notice that it threw an error that says email is invalid, and that was caused by that callback or that validation. So if we add .com to the end, you'll notice that the error message went away and it's not identifying this as an invalid field anymore. Uh, another thing that we can do is uh, if we look at our database table, you'll see that uh, first name should be a maximum of 30 characters and last name should be maximum of 50. We can also have wheels check for that instead of throwing a nasty database error. And to do that, there's a validation called validates length of. And we'll pass it property first name. And this, this uh, function takes a number of different arguments, uh, some common things like minimum and a maximum. Uh, so we'll say that it should be a maximum of 30 for that, and that'll be good enough for now. And we'll also do the same thing for last name. Maximum of 50. Wheels will check for that, so let's try that out. We'll just put in a really, really long value for this. And you can see that it threw the error first name is the wrong length. So that validation worked. And then lastly, one thing that I noticed after doing this was I didn't ask for a password, which is usually a pretty important step of registering. So let's go ahead and add that. Uh, first things first, I added it to the database table already, made it a care of 255 in case we want to encrypt it or something later. So that's all set. And all that we really need to do now is add it to our form. So uh, let's add it up here. And we can use a form helper called password field, which is similar to text field, except it creates an input of type password. We'll give it a label of password, and then object name user property password, because that's what we named it in the database table. And um, let's go ahead and run the form. One thing that you may be used to seeing on a form asking for password too is asking the user to val or, uh, verify their password by typing it in again. So if that's a requirement of yours, Wheels actually uh, has a mechanism for checking that a uh, field was val or verified correctly. So let's create another password field called confirm password. And then all that you need to do is name it the same thing as what you want to confirm. So password, but then add confirmation to the end. 
And then in our model object, we just need to set that confirmation. So we'll do validates confirmation of, and we just pass it the, the field that needs to be confirmed. So let's give this a shot. So for our password field, I'll go ahead and shrink this down. Uh, for our password field, uh, we could type anything. So I'll just type one, two, three, four, five, six. When I click register now, it'll say password should match confirmation. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, and forget the six. And we still got the same error message. So if I add this six to the end, the error message goes away. For more information on validations and the Cold Fusion on Wheels framework, visit cfwheels.org.